Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm going to be buying the Battle Pass and it's going to be the combo we have right now got Battle Pass 11 just coming to an end it's got just over 24 hours left while I'm going to buy it so probably less than 24 hours when this video goes out and then there is the secondary part which is the Battle Pass Season 11 Weapon Missions this was obviously the new edition and basically um, you can get the combo on the web portal with both of these for just a little bit of a, a reduction in price. I think combined in game, it comes up to like $25 or 25 pounds. And then in, you know, on the web portal, it goes to $20, which is reduced quite a reasonable amount of price, which is pretty decent. And here it is right here. As you can see, it's the web only offer mythic battle pass season 11 combo pack. And it has got the battle pass key that's for duck. And then it has the blacksmith caliper and that is for the weapon and then you get some prestige points and then some living skulls as well i believe i've been told some of the issues around claiming stuff with living skulls right now so hopefully that gets fixed for people in the future but um living skulls is basically a currency to use on the web portal so i'm going to just pick this up and then the stuff should be delivered to my inbox and once i claim it i'll get all those rewards Okay, so we have picked it up, and as you can see, I've got the offer now sold out. I believe there's an, an event going on at the moment, but I don't think I would have got any progress on it because the first one requires, I believe, you to spend a bit more than a, a bit more than twenty dollars. It looks like closer to fifty to be able to get the first one. Um, oh, I did get something here. I did get an extra reward here. Uh, we've got a hundred bloody bandages as a little bonus here. Actually, that's not too bad considering um, So I'll take that a hundred bloody bandages as a bonus and this one goes on for another six days So if you did want to pick up this battle pass and the next battle pass and then potentially some offers for Clementine It would all go towards this one and the other one. So yeah, there's definitely some stuff you can do in terms of a uh, you know, getting your hands on some bonus rewards in the event section Just make sure you click claim you have to click claim like I just did it will say rewards has been claimed and that's when it gets sent through to your inbox. If you don't click claim in the events tab on the web portal, it doesn't actually get sent through to you. So coming back to in-game and it actually seems like I got sent two of these because I completed two of them. That's not too bad at all. So I get 200 of these bandages. This is going to work towards the current event with Michelle and Ophelia, which is cool. But um, as you can see, I got the, the main purchase, which is the battle pass. I also got the freebies, daily freebies off the web portal. And we'll claim the this now, and it will completely just unlock the battle pass. It'll give me the prestige points. And then when we back out, what we're going to find is I have tons of stuff to claim in my missions. Lots and lots of things, as you can see. If I just do claim all, you can see all the rewards I'm going to get out of this. It is going to be three ducks, I believe. Some mods, lots of, uh, lots of silver mythic tokens, trainers. Um, I think there's going to be some gold mythic tokens as well in here. Am I right? I, I, oh, actually, I might not be right on the gold mythic tokens. It might just be lots of silver mythic tokens. Silvers. And now here's where we get into the secondary rewards. This is from the, um, the weapon pass. And you can see I'm going to get just extras on top. And five duct tapes. It's pretty much gold dust at the moment. Like, it's impossible to get duct tapes. I've got like five of those and hundreds of the other stuff um and then we should have the weapon in here as well where are you where are you there we go so we, we get kenny's pistol and i talked about this a bit before and when i initially saw this i thought it was okay and it was just drawn to my attention i believe by um lost noah who basically said just switching out that third slot for the standard 45 percent extra attack when attacking enemies with 50 percent more hp and then increasing the first slot to 50 percent attack would just be 5% more attack on this weapon than one you could craft in the armory. So you'll be able to get a slightly better weapon on this weapon. And it's going to be great in the hands of a damage list, you know, specifically someone like Kenny. 5% does mean quite a lot. So I claimed everything except the three really important things in this one. And it is going to be three ducks that I'm going to receive from the battle pass. So if I hit claim now, I have got all the characters from the battle pass. And now if I go into my ascension tower... I will be able to ascend my duck to LB3. And, and this is where, obviously, he's going to be um, more useful. He's going to have all of his skills. He's going to have a higher level. I haven't leveled him up at all. I did use him on the Telltale Roadmap. 
and he was actually getting you know a pretty decent amount of damage just from my lieutenant system so when he is max level as well and the fact that he's got lb3 it's gonna be nice he's got a nice weapon his damage output is good he works really well standing next to kenny and i know that telltale team definitely has um good possibilities and that's him fully geared up visually this is what he looks like of course lb3 and this is his full potential. You can see, look, that's his base stats, I believe. 20,000 attack just off of base. If we uh, just check it out, I'll go into my roster and we'll go down to um, we'll go down to him. There we go. You see, right now he's got 20,000 attack. When he's fully maxed out, he has 31k nearly. So yeah, it makes a big difference. Another 10,000 attack, 50% more damage. From getting all those levels i probably won't fully max him but i definitely think he's worth the bronze and silver medals just to get um as much out of it as possible the golds i'm still i'm still i still hold back on my golds generally speaking so yeah that's just me uh picking up the battle pass pretty much just going over it and getting my rewards like i said though with the weapon i'll just i'll just show you once again i'm not sure if it changes visually when it's in here but we'll have a little look it was an alert weapon, five star, and it was also an attack weapon. So if we find it, it is, there we go. It might visually change once it gets teared up, but generally I think once a weapon is legendary, which it is right now, is, is the visuals sort of like capped out. But this weapon is definitely going to be used on Kenny. I'm going to put this third slot on it. Burn, bonus attack, 45% attack when attacking enemies of more than 50%. And then I'm just going to raise the attack up to 50%. And it's going to be, like I said, identical to this weapon, just 5% more. And right now I do use this on Kenny, and, and that makes a big difference, obviously. Um, I have had people asking why I don't use the debilitating pistol on Kenny. This one is just a better guarantee because not you know characters don't necessarily have debilitating status effects on them. And Kenny hits a lot of targets, so... You know, their HP being over 50% is more likely than them having like a, a controlling status on them. And that's why I would go for that third slot personally. Um, instead of using the, uh, the War of Champions weapon, for instance. So yeah, guys, that was me picking up the combo pack for the battle pass. I do think it's worth it this time around for me personally. I do like Telltale, so it's getting a character that I like. I do think Duck is actually a pretty good character. And he works well in an actual Telltale team, which I should be able to make. And then, of course... I am going to be able to get that extra on top, the weapons and, and some of the other stuff in there as well, which is pretty useful for me. I didn't manage to pick up the last battle pass, um, just didn't really think it was as good. So I'm happy to pick up this one and uh, we'll see what happens with the, the future battle passes, guys. That is, uh, that is it pretty much for this video. If you haven't seen it already, I have previewed the next battle pass character, which is Gold Mythic Sheldon. And you should be able to see like a an overlay on your screen very soon just just linking you to that if you want to check it out but yeah that's the end of my video guys do tell me if you managed to pick up this battle pass have you got plans for that weapon have you got plans for duck himself let me know in the comments down below but that's the end of my video i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving